We've all seen it, that chaotic, disorganized mess under your file name. In the beginning, you don't really pay too much attention, just make sure everything goes into your file and call it safe. But after a few months of editing, a couple episodes of your show, that ominous red highlight over your name, and the dreaded phone call from John telling you to clean up your folder, or else, you wish you had been more organized. Don't worry, we're going to get back to the basics and help you understand just what you have in your folder and how to keep it organized. That way, when it comes time to clean up your folder, you'll know what is safe to throw away. The first thing we're going to do is figure out what different kinds of files we have and what they're each used for. This icon should look familiar to everyone. A folder. You can think of your virtual folder just like this physical folder. This is where you're going to keep your project file and all your supporting material. And remember to always label it with your first and last name. The icon that resembles a clapboard represents a Final Cut Pro project file. Anytime you open and save a Final Cut Pro project, an icon like this appears in your folder. Remember, when you see this icon, it represents a Final Cut Pro project that you've already been working on. Make sure you always save it in your folder and label it appropriately. After you save a Final Cut Pro project, these files will appear in your folder. Final Cut Pro uses these folders to organize the information about your project. Don't delete them. The only folder you may need to go into is the Capture Scratch folder. When you capture footage off of a tape, this is where it goes. When you capture, import, or digitize footage off of a tape, it is made into a QuickTime file. This logo represents media, usually audio and video, in its raw, pre-edit form. It is important to keep all your QuickTime files in your project folder while you're still working on that project. However, it is equally important that when you complete a project, to delete all the project files and supporting material, including the QuickTimes from your Capture Scratch folder, to save space on the hard drives. Some of you have music associated with your show opening or closing. Remember that all raw files need to be kept in your file with your project. This includes music and sound effects. If you have a CD with your music on it, make sure to copy the track you are using to your folder. You may also have pictures or still images that you want to incorporate in your project. Same goes with these. Keep them in your project file. With all this stuff going into your folder, it can get kind of messy. So here's what I do to keep it all organized. Inside my folder, I always have a music or audio folder and a pictures or graphics folder. This helps me keep everything organized. And in Final Cut Pro, I can import the folder as a bin, bringing all the clips in at once. If you're working on a series, it's a good idea to give each episode its own folder, kind of like this. Okay, so here's a quick recap of what we just went over. So I hope this clears things up for you. Your folder shouldn't be a scary, messy place. Just a little time and effort keeps everything organized. And as always, staff can answer any questions you have.